Hey viewers, welcome to another BRM video and welcome to our new viewers. Today we're going to show the correct way to install pedal straps on your clip pedals. Specifically we're going to be using the Campy Triumph pedals. Now these are practically identical to the Victory pedals so they will work on both. In fact this will pretty much work for all your cage type pedals. Now I'd like to start giving a little history when I start doing these restoration videos on the parts that I'm dealing with just to help with your restorations and to know what you're dealing with. The uh, Campy Triumph and Victory pedals were virtually the same type of pedal. They were both mid-range group sets. Victory was introduced in 1985, the Triumph in 1986. Uh, they both were discontinued in the late 80s and replaced with the Athena and other new mid-range group sets. This procedure, though, will basically be the same for all clip cage type pedals. And keep watching the video because I will show you how to quickly tell the difference between the Victory and Triumph group sets. So let's get started with the pedal strap installation. So you want to end up with the clip in this position with the roller on the inside and the teeth on the outside. So when you put the strap in, and close it holds it snug and after you get your shoe or foot in there you can just pull up on the strap and snug it down and then it will not release. To release of course you just uh, grab the bottom and squeeze and the pedal strap will come out. So you want to start by threading the strap through the pedal and some of your pedals will have this cut out and that's just to save weight it's not actually to thread your pedal strap through so go ahead and start by strap pushing it through here and go ahead and get it all the way through to where you want your clip to end up at and of course pull it in and you want it pretty low here so you have enough strap to deal with when you get done threading everything. Now once you get the clip where you want it, we're going to pull this back out through the middle. And I'll show you the reason for that here. Is because we want to put a twist in the middle of the cage here and make sure you put it all twist it all the way around so the logo is showing on the outside once you get that twist in go ahead and continue throwing it through again now the reason for this twist is to hold the strap in place. So when you do end up finishing here and you want to pull your strap taut, it won't pull it through down here. Now the odds of that happening are you know pretty slim but it could happen so this is just a little extra twist here so it doesn't do that. Okay so once you get your strap pulled through on this end we're going to have the strap come through here so it'll be protected on the outside by this little bar here. So we're going to back it up just a little bit and kind of twist it under here. It's new, so it's real kind of stiff, a little stiff. And of course, obviously, we go through the top part. And now we have the clip in the right position. And you just open it up, put that through. And now you can just pull the strap up to tighten it to where you want it. And of course, you loosen, you reach down, pull up with your foot, and the strap will release. Now, some of your straps will come with what they call the strap buttons. And you can put these on or not put them on, whatever you want to do. But um, it kind of keeps the end here from fraying. And it also gives you a little something to hold on to as you're pulling up on the strap. So they're kind of a good idea to use. And some are more ornamental than others. These are the ones that were on the bike, so I'm using these again because they were in pretty good shape. So we just cleaned them up a little bit. So we're going to go ahead and put these back on. So you want to put these on, of course, so they 
meet the end here and then we're going to go ahead and get the screw in the bottom here so I'm going to keep the button here as close to the end as possible I'm not going to screw the screw in all the way I just want to get it started for now so I'm going to kind of use my thumb to kind of help guide that in there yeah you'll have this happen so I'll kind of put my thumbnail on there and then start turning and pressing in that's good and then uh, we'll go ahead and tighten some more here till it becomes a little more difficult to move we don't want to go all the way in yet till we have this positioned exactly where we want it so we'll come back out a little bit and I'm just gonna feel the edge here and then that's about where we want it go ahead and start tightening this in and this will screw into the strap itself and we want to make it pretty snug there and then go ahead and give it a good tug because remember you'll be using this to pull up and it's working just fine there so that's about how you want it and there you have your strap so of course this stays out doesn't flip in here some people don't use these because they like to make it a little neater by sticking the end of the strap through the bottom here so nothing's sticking out but um, after a while this will become more flexible and uh, this is actually a, a better idea in case you're using clips I don't know if anybody uses clips anymore but um, if you do use clips this will give you a quicker way to grab this and also to release it here so uh, that's it that's the installation okay viewers now as promised I'm going to give you a quick way to tell the difference between the victory and triumph group sets okay first look at the crank set the victory has straight spider arms leading up to the crank bolts the triumph starts straight then dog legs inward then immediately outward just before the bolts many call this a bow tie look that's the first way then if you look at the rear derailleur the victory on the bottom cage bolt it has the same diameter as the top frame attachment bolt the triumph rear derailleur the bottom cage bolt is wider in diameter than the top bolt and almost has a plate looking effect and those are the two things to look at and they'll tell you right away if you're looking at a victory or a triumph group set well thanks for watching viewers and please like and subscribe to see more restoration videos and our current project a 1986 lotus chinelli design triumph thanks again